And now we said, if you have to have a product plan, your, your product should work in different circumstances. Not only on the south side. Well, if somebody wants to use it in a garden, why not? So this is the case. If you are putting so much investment, you put up a stand and it can be in the garden too. So you look at now different product plans and take it forward and you know like we worked on various forms and you know how the design will further refine for ease of manufacturing what type of shape what type of form will work the best for our work and we went back to the CAD modeling and a lot of discussions on what will this product look from the outside. It should look like a kitchen equipment at the same time there should be a good perception and it should also sell by itself so somebody sees this jetting out it should be curious oh my what is this can i also see what it is and if it's a solar oven why don't i buy it so your product has to do multiple functions when it's in the market so it should really look very good from outside and very encouraging so we were very clear with our brief the form should be such that it should nothing should get stuck so we have no ridges on the top see we have very very clean surfaces and you know the the surfaces further improve See what happens if I have this and I have less volume, right? My containers will not fit in. So now I have to lift this, you know, up and make it a little bit more squarish, but the roundedness is still there. So that is very important. So we do a lot of these options to work out and see how we can improve it further. Now the you know flanges and all are coming into place. You know, the CAD model is further improving, and then you know uh, we we did the door and we you know see how it will work on a stand, how it will work on a window. This is how it will look from outside the house. And this is how it looked from inside, very convenient to use. You can actually go into the existing slot where people have left slots for air conditioners. And then we have a specification sheet. So very important aspect here is that the outer shell is made of polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is extremely tough. It doesn't break. If somebody even stands on it, it's not going to buckle. So our design is such a way that you know it doesn't get, because anything getting out into the environment has to be really robust and strong. And for us, it has to be transparent. Then we have the inner shell also we use polycarbonate to reduce cost. We could have used other materials for inside, but we found out polycarbonate is very good for very high temperatures and we are going as high as 110 degrees inside. So we use the inside shell also with polycarbonate and injection molding. The outside sheet metal frame is powder coated, that's very strong. So your plastic is getting fixed on the sheet metal. The door is inside the house, so it's made of ABS. ABS is acrylonitrile butadiene styrene and these are used in scooter parts. All the plastic parts are scooters, the two peel mopeds you go are all made up of this plastic parts. And then we have the you know glass door with graphics. Then we have the tray which is 3mm aluminium sheet which is matte finished in black. It could be either powder coated or it could be anodized. But aluminium has a problem of uh, uh, leaching into food. So people have some uh, uh, preferences. And now we are designing the food containers also effectively so that the transmittivity and conductivity is very, very good. So with this journey, we have, we have reached the stage of prototype still. We are still struggling in the value of death, which is the second one. As soon as we come up with our 10 prototypes, we got to put this uh, 10 pilot production. As you know, even after pilot production, we get so much of insights uh, that we need to go back to our drawing board and make for the final production. So we want to set up an intellectual property agreement where we share the intellectual property with the company for a share of revenue. Uh, if, if you sell 1000 pieces, you know, he will give us a royalty figure which will let us, you know, uh, take our design innovation studio forward. So we want to just let you know how comprehension Getting the user insights at every stage of the journey is very, very critical. And it, it plays a vital role and you need to keep coming back to your synthesis and analysis to see that you can come up with live projects which are very, very successful in the market. So that's the biggest challenge we are, we are having. I think we will we'll do that. So thank you.